Welcome to online classes children today in chapter number 9 that is time and temperature we are going to discuss conversion of time okay. so first we have to see what are the units of time okay as we all know one year is equals to 12 months and one month is equals to 30 days and one week is equals to 7 days one year will be equal to 52 weeks then one day will be equal to 24 hours and one hour week will be equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equals to 60 minutes okay on the basis of the unit of time we have to solve my practice time 2 okay children now see question number 3 of my practice time 2 convert the years and days into days okay So question number A is 14 years and 46 days. So we have to convert this 14 years and 46 days into days. Okay. So as we all know that one year is equals to 365 days. Okay. Here we are having 14 years. So we have to multiply it by 365. We will multiply this 14 by 365, and then we will add this 46 days. Whatever we will get after multiplying, we have to add this 46 in that. Okay. Now let's see how to multiply this 14 by 365. First, we have to multiply this 5 by 14. Then we will multiply this 6 by 14. Then we will multiply this 3 by 14. Okay. Now multiply this 5 by 14. 5 fours are 20. Write 0 and 2 carry. Then 5 ones are 5. Plus two will be seven. Now you have to put one zero. Then you have to multiply six by fourteen. Six fours are twenty-four. Write four, then put two, carry. Then six ones are six. Six plus two will be eight. Now you have to put two zeros. Okay. After that you have to multiply this three by fourteen. So three fours are twelve. Write two and put one, carry. Then three ones are three. Three plus one will be four. Right four. Then after that you have to add all the numbers. So zero plus zero plus zero will be zero. Seven plus four plus zero will be eleven. Right one and put one carry. Then one plus eight plus two will be eleven. Right one and then put one carry. Then one plus four will be five. Okay. So after multiplying we are getting here five thousand one hundred and ten. Okay so in this 5110 we have to add 46 okay after adding we are getting here 5156 days total okay now the second question question number b is 21 years 57 days in the same way we will solve this also okay so one year is equals to 365 days so 21 year will be equal to 21 into 365 days and we are having 57 days also so we have to add this 57 whatever number of days we will get we will add 57 into it okay now let's see how to multiply okay so 5 ones are 5 then 5 twos are 10 we will write 10 then we will put one zero then we have to multiply this 6 by 21 so 6 ones are 6 then 6 twos are 12 then we have to put two zeros then we have to multiply this 3 by 21 okay so 3 ones are 3 then 3 twos are 6 now we have to add all the numbers so 5 plus 0 plus 0 will be 5 then 0 plus 6 plus 0 will be 6 then 1 plus 2 plus 3 will be 6 then 1 plus 6 will be 7 so after multiplying we are getting here 7665 Now we have to add 57 in it. Okay, we will add 57. So after adding 57, we are getting here 7,722 days. Okay. Now the next question, question number five is convert the hours into minutes and seconds. Okay. So question number A is 143 hours. We have to convert 143 hours into minutes, and then we have to convert that into seconds also. Okay. So we all know that one hour is equals to 60 minutes. So we have to multiply this 60 by 143. We are having here 143 hours, so we have to multiply this 143 by 60. Okay. So let's see how to multiply. First, we have to multiply this 0 by 143. Then we will multiply this 6 by 143. Okay. So 0 multiplied by 3 will be 0. 0 multiplied by 4 will be 0. Then 0 multiplied by 1 will be 0. 
Now we have to multiply this 6 by 143. So 6 3 is a 18. Put 1 0 then write 8 then 1 carry. Okay then 6 4 is a 24. Add 1. So 25. Okay so write 5 and put 2 carry. Then 6 1 is a 6 plus 2 will be 8. Now you have to add all the numbers. 0 plus 0 will be 0. 0 plus 8 will be 8. 0 plus 5 will be 5 and 8. So we are getting here after multiplying we are getting here 8580 minutes. Okay. Now we have to convert this into seconds also. So 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds. So here we are having 8580 minutes. So 8580 minutes will be equal to 8580 into 60 seconds. Okay. Now again let's see how to multiply this. So we have to multiply first we, are, we have to multiply this 0 by 8580 then we have to multiply this 6 by 8580. Okay now let's multiply it 0 multiplied by 0 will be 0 0 multiplied by 8 will be 8, 0 then 0 multiplied by 5 will be 0 then 0 multiplied by 8 will be 0. Okay now we have to multiply the 6 by 8580. Okay so First we have to put one zero then we have to multiply. So 6 into 0 will be 0. Now 6 into 8 will be 48. Write 8 and 4. Put 4 carry. Now 6 5 are 30. 30 plus 4 will be 34. So write 4 and give 3 carry. Then 8 6 are 48. 48 plus 3 will be 51. So write 51. Now add all the numbers. You will get you will get here 5,14,800. Okay. So here the answer will be 5,14,800 seconds. Okay. When we are converting this into minutes, we are getting here 8,580 minutes. And when we are converting into seconds, we are getting here 5,14,800 seconds. Okay. Number B is 649 hours. We have to convert this into minutes and seconds. Okay. So as we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So first we will convert this into minutes. 649 hours will be equal to 649 into 60 minutes. Now let's see how to multiply 649 by 60. First we have to multiply this 0 by 649. Then we have to multiply this 6 by 649. Okay. So 0 multiplied by 9 will be 0. 0 multiplied by 4 will be 0. 0 multiplied by 6 will be 0. Now we have to multiply by this. Multiply 6 by 649. So first we have to put one 0. Then we have to multiply. So 9, 6, 54. Okay. So write 4 and give 5 carry. Then 6, 4s are 24. 24 plus 5 will be 29. So write 9 and give to carry then 6 6 are 36 36 plus 2 will be 38 okay so write 38 now add all the numbers you will get uh, 38,940 okay so we are having here 38,940 minutes okay now we have to convert this into seconds also so we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so 38,940 minutes will be equal to 38,940 into 60 seconds now we have to multiply this 38,940 by 60 okay so same way we will multiply 0 into 0 will be 0 0 into 4 will be 0 0 into 9 will be 0 0 into 8 will be 0 and 0 into 3 will also be 0. Okay. Now we have to multiply 6 by 38,940. First we have to put one 0. Then we have to multiply. Okay. So 6 into 0 will be 0. 6 into 4 will be 24. So write 4 and give to carry. Then 9 into 6 will be 9 into 6 will be 54. 54 plus 2 will be 56. So write 6 and give 5 carry. Then 8 fives are 8 fives are uh, 48 48 plus 5 will be 53 so write 3 and give 5 carry then 6 3 is a 18 18 plus 5 will be 23 so write 23 now add all the numbers you will get 0 0 4 6 3 3 and 2 so 23 lakh 36400 seconds we are having here 23 lakh 36400 seconds okay when we are converting this 649 hours into minutes and seconds, we are getting here 38,940 minutes and 23,36,400 seconds. Okay. 
Now the next question is question number seven. Convert the following. Okay. Question number A is three sixty seconds into minutes. We have to convert. Okay. So we know that one second is equals to one by sixty minutes. Okay. One second will be equal to one by sixty minutes. So here we are having three sixty seconds. Three sixty seconds will be equal to three hundred sixty by sixty minutes. Okay. We have to divide three hundred sixty by sixty. Okay. So let's see how to divide, children. Sixty six sa three hundred and sixty. Okay, so now subtract three hundred and sixty by three hundred and sixty. You will get zeros. Okay, so the quotient is six. So here we will be having six minutes. When we will convert this in three hundred sixty seconds into minutes, we are having six minutes. Okay, now the next question is. 1380 minutes into hours we have to convert 1380 minutes into hours so we know that 1 minute is equals to 1 by 60 hours 1 minute will be equal to 1 by 60 hours okay so 1380 minutes will be equal to 1380 upon 60 hours okay now divide 1380 by 60 How you will divide? Sixty two is one hundred twenty. Then subtract one hundred twenty from one hundred thirty eight. You will get eight minus zero will be eight, and three minus two will be one. Okay. Now bring this zero down, so it will become one hundred eighty. So sixty three is one hundred eighty. Here we are getting twenty three. Hours. So we are getting twenty-three hours. Okay. So one thousand three hundred eighty minutes will be equal to twenty-three hours. Now the next question, question number F is eight thousand seventy-six hours. We have to convert this into days and hours. Okay. So one hour will be equal to one upon twenty-four days. So eight hundred seventy-six hours will be equal to eight hundred seventy-six upon twenty-four days. Now we have to divide this eight hundred seventy-six by twenty-four. Okay. Now let's see how to divide eight twenty-four three is a seventy-two. Then we have to subtract this seventy-two by eighty-seven. So we will get seven minus two will be five, and eight minus seven will be one. Now we have to bring this six down. It will become one hundred fifty-six. Now twenty-four six is a One hundred forty-four. Okay, then we have to subtract this. Then we have we will get here twelve. Six minus four will be two, and five minus four will be one. Okay, so twelve. So here we are getting thirty-six days, and the left whatever is left here, the remainder twelve. So we will write it as twelve hours. Okay, we have to write it as twelve hours only. Okay, and what is the quotient here? Thirty six. So we are getting here thirty six days and twelve hours. Okay. Now the next question is six hundred forty eight month into years. Okay. So one month will be equal to one by twelve years. So six hundred forty eight months will be equal to six hundred forty eight upon twelve years. Okay. So we have to divide this six hundred forty eight by twelve. Now let's see how to divide it. So six One hundred forty-eight will be the dividend, and twelve will be the divisor. So twelve five is sixty. Then we have to subtract it. So four minus zero will be four, and six minus six will be zero. Now bring this eight down. It will become forty-eight. Now twelve four is forty-eight. Okay. So we when we are converting this six hundred forty-eight month into year, we are getting here fifty-four years. Okay. Now the next question, question number eight is Rahul travels one hour fifteen minutes to reach his office. How many seconds does he spend to reach the office? That means we have to convert this one hour fifteen minutes into seconds. Okay, we have to convert this one hour fifteen minutes into seconds. So first we have to write time Rahul takes to reach the office will be equal to one hour fifteen minutes. Okay. Then we have to convert this into seconds, so we will write time Rahul takes to reach the office in seconds. Okay. Then we will convert this. So one hour will be equal to sixty minutes. First we will convert this into minutes. Then we will convert into seconds. Okay. So one hour will be equal to sixty minutes. So one hour fifteen minutes will be equal to sixty plus fifteen minutes. Okay. That will be equal to. 
75 minutes okay now we have to convert this 75 minutes into seconds so one minute will be equal to 60 seconds so 75 minutes will be equal to 75 into 60 seconds okay so we have to multiply this after multiplying we are getting here 4500 seconds okay we will get here 4500 seconds this is your home task children do this and submit it in ms teams class notebook thank you children